hello everyone so in this today's video i'm going to show you how you can mine ori tokens very easily and this tutorial will gonna be a very helpful for the especially for the beginners and yeah very i will explain some steps by my by verbally by not showing you know so you just have to uh, concentrate understand what i'm saying and then you can uh, do that and if you got any error or anything you need any issue then you can just comment uh, here and i will uh, explain it to you okay i mean we will sort it okay so now what we have to open is the website of ori supply okay uh, first of all we will go on his twitter okay this is the account of ori and yeah you can see the 11.1k followers so this will gonna be a epic so now you just have to click on ori.supply and you will be redirected to their website their to their official website now right now just you have to click on the get started and now after this you will be see, you will be seeing here the profile option on the right side corner so just click on that and you can see here the address of solana and uh, export keys private keys button so first of all you have to click on export then understand and copy these keys and paste it and keep it in a safe place okay because this will be a very uh, this this should be a safe okay so if if you don't have private key and if you lost this you know web or something then you will not be able to access your wallet so if you have any thousands of dollars also or millions of dollars so you will not be able to access your export keys first of all then after that uh, what you have to do is copy this address and send some soul here at least 0 0.02 or 0 0.03 okay uh, i'll recommend 0 0.04 so send 0 0.04 here for soul here 0 0.04 and keep it in this and uh, after sending uh, from the phantom or soul fair wallet uh, after sending soul you will not be able to see his soul here because you have to change uh, the rpc uh, here so default rpc will be something like this rpc iron forge network and uh, this rpc need to be changed so for changing rpc i will recommend helios uh, that's uh, that will the, that is the good platform where you can get the rpc you know so for that just open the helios helios and yeah so this is the uh, original website of helios uh, after opening helios you will be able to see uh, a something like this dashboard will you will see and these cycles will be the zero of course for sure and subscription will be the free automatically and this will expire on the date from your register to the other date like one month okay so uh, after that you can see here in a free plan you are getting a 500k credits that's a good and 10 rpc request per seconds so yeah so if you want to increase uh, if you want to uh, buy other plan subscription plan then you can buy this one developer 49 dollar per month and this will be a good okay will be a decent but for now if you are just testing so you can just use the free account okay uh, so after that you can also check here helios urls general purpose url you can just copy this one general purpose url on mainnet make sure it's mainnet not a devnet okay we are using a mainnet so general purpose url copy it and then let's come at ori and uh, okay we lost it uh, just go into the setting sorry settings and yeah uh, here you can see here rpc so just control a and control v and save it so you just saved uh, another rpc and after that the balance which is which was not visible that will be visible automatically after adding this okay 
so now uh, after this uh, you have to uh, go in the other which is download and uh, here you can see this uh, commands which you have to use uh, and yeah this commands will be uh, I will show you to how you can use it on a windows okay it's showing coming soon but we can do it okay so first of all we need to download w install WSL uh, and uh, uh, yeah WSL and uh, other is Ubuntu I guess uh, Ubuntu Ubuntu okay yeah Ubuntu so right now we have to click on start and then just search for uh, turn window feature on or off okay then after that click on that and you will see something like this on your windows then enable this virtual machine platform and then uh, enable other one which is uh, this one windows subsystem for linux and yeah you can enable this one so just enable this and this one <coughs> wsl yeah it stands for windows subsystem for linux and after that click on ok and uh, it will say you to redirect uh, restart your computer so just restart your computer after that it will install successfully in your computer so now for checking that is it installed or not you have to open the command prompt uh, for that just go in the start and type cmd and you will get the command prompt and here you can uh, check the status so for checking status you have to just write dash state status status and you know, of course wsl status so something like this will show up and default version will be the second and uh, you ubuntu 20.04 uh, this ubuntu 24.0.4 will be get uh, we, we have to install it uh, by going into the vs code okay uh, where we can write our where we, we will be running uh, we will be mining and uh, in terminal we will be using vs code for mining okay and uh, if your default version is not 2 then you can just update it uh, with other command which is uh, uh, I, I don't think it's necessary to update because the default version will be automatically will be 2 okay so let's move on now open the uh, vs code if you don't have it so you can install it from the web browser uh, just search here VS Code, VS Code, and you will see VS Code download and just click on this download Visual Code Mac Linux, and you can just download this one. Okay, and if you have Mac, then you can download it from this. So after downloading VS Code, uh, open the VS Code, and uh, now you have to download some extensions. So for extensions, search here WSL, and yeah, WSL. So just install this Windows subsystem for Linux. You will see an install button. Click on install, and it will get automatically enabled. Okay. And uh, after that, you have to download other extension, which is Explorer. Explorer. This one, Remote Explorer. After searching, you can see here, and you just you have to install it. Click on install button. Something like this install button will pop up. So you you just have to click on install and remote explorer will get installed okay so next you will see something like this just downside of your extension remote explorer tab and here you will be able to see wsl targets okay so now uh, what you have to do is just uh, uh, open this uh, click on this wsl targets and click on this plus add a distro and after clicking on plus the list will come up and in that list you have to find Ubuntu 20.04 like this 20.04 so here the list will come up and uh, just downside you can you will be able to see Ubuntu 24.04 just click on that and it will get installed wait for some time after clicking uh, I hope your Wi-Fi is fast <laughs> okay so after that what we have to do is just you can see the option just side of that arrow you have to click on that but uh, one thing after doing after installing that also if like this not appear in your vs code then you have to uh, disable your extension just click on this disable and enable it again uh, i'll say use uh, i'll say do the wsl 
like this search it and disable it and enable it if not appear like this on your VS code okay so after that you can just click on this uh, arrow button and after clicking on arrow you will get the new current window where you you will be able to write the code okay so I have already clicked so I'll just click on this three dot and turn the new terminal okay the new terminal will come up and uh, after that you have to write here some commands uh, you have to uh, write some commands like uh, this one first of all copy this command just click on this copy and paste into your VS code here so after pasting it I'm just clicking on write button uh, it will get automatically paste and you have to click on enter so this will get installed then after that what you have to do is uh, just copy this second one uh, and if any message come up uh, in installation time then just click on the enter okay then after that copy the second command and do it same just go in the VS code and paste it okay that's it then after that what you have to do is copy the third command cargo install and do the same thing okay this three commands will get installed it will definitely take some time and if your Wi-Fi speed is fast enough then it will not take much time okay give it some time and it will be done then after that what you have to do is uh, you have to use these two commands also this one sudo get uh, sudo apt get apt uh, dash get update and then after that installing copy this one command and use that command also after that so these two commands after installing these two commands also uh, the thing is uh, when you use this first command this one curl rash then it will ask you for a username or maybe if you added the ubuntu uh, after clicking on the plus sign it will ask you for a username and password so give it a unique username and uh, uh, good password uh, then uh, our password will be set and then you will be able to perform these three uh, commands and these two commands okay for first command it will ask for a password so you can give it a password okay in terminal I'm saying in terminal okay don't get confused so after this what you have to do is uh, go in your VS code and click on this file button then click on open folder and something like this will come up and now uh, here will you will be able to see config dot config then just click on that dot config and after that uh, you will be able to uh, see um, the uh, name of your uh, you know uh, file maybe a uh, solana i guess then click on that solana and then just click on ok uh, that file will get added here and uh, if uh, there if uh, a file named uh, named named id.json will uh, not appear then you have to write you have to you can write it manually also or you can uh, use other commands also uh, something like this this uh, three commands you have to write uh, first of all dot config dollar cd and uh, this one uh, but before this uh, if id uh, dot json file is not appearing then uh, you can write uh, this one uh, let me show you this you can write uh, and write this one uh, solana uh, hyphen keygun new you can write this command in your vs code here you can write just paste this and you can you then after uh, after that uh, your id.json file will, will be appear okay so after after that uh, what you have to do is you have to uh, write this command dot config dollar space cd and then doll, uh, then this symbol and then uh, slash dot config okay here's not space so after this uh, you have to check the files uh, are there or not so you can just write ls ls will show you how much files are available in your uh, that okay so after that you can write cd solana so it will give it will get you in the solana folder so after this uh, what you have to do is uh, open folder that you have done that okay 
so now you can do that I mean uh, the thing you have to click on open folder and then you will able to see the config then Solana and then just ok ok so this things are done after that the last thing you have to do is you have to use uh, you have to uh, create the another file in your uh, in your here so how you can create it just I'll just show you okay so just to uh, click on this blank document just right click and click on the new file and the new file will be appear uh, sorry new file will be appear and you have to just write here test 2.sh I mean the file name you have to put and dot sh domain is necessary and after that just click on enter and you will be in your file so the uh, code you have to write this code I will give uh, it in the description okay so maybe you can write from here also just write hashtag slash slash bin bash and yeah this is just a comment if you not write this then there's no problem so then why do and do loop and you can just uh, replace this your rpc url with the actual url you have the actual url you will get in the helios right uh, here you can see the url uh, which is uh, which is this one general purpose url just copy this url and uh, paste into your and just replace this one and after that uh, this will be your path so make sure the path is correct for checking that you just have to take your uh, finger there and you can see the uh, path so yeah that is correct and set the priority field at least this much or you can just change it if you want to check uh, just check the if transaction is going through or not so yeah now right now the Solana uh, transaction or Solana is congested so maybe it will take time so don't worry okay so yeah that's all uh, in this video I have to show you and yeah so right now uh, this is all I showed you and uh, this is only possible because of this man uh, because of this it was possible and yeah he helped me with all this um, how to do that so yeah you can just give him a follow and also you can subscribe to his youtube channel just click on this youtube link and you will be redirected to his youtube channel and you can just subscribe it okay uh, so yeah he is a good man he helped people just click on the subscribe and you will get subscribed uh, also you can so check his video out uh, i will just give the link of his video in our description and uh, yeah so thanks to everyone for um, for watching this video till the end and i hope you got something uh, hope you understand something and uh, yeah that's all i have i had showed you and uh, it's done so yeah you can go away thanks guys nice.